pictures of Spider-Man. I want pictures of Spider-Man. We we need oh, I want pictures. pictures of Spider-Man first. You're a hack. Get out of here. It's my office. Nah, man. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I already, have, I, really I already got my uh, stuff in the desk. A wink. I do not actually wink. I just say it. Did you just say wink out loud? Anyway, um, I could start by trying to use the new Cerebro to try to see if I can just locate Spider-Man. I go to your tentacle form while I be in Wakanda. Is Spider Man's right, identity back, done. <laughs> Is Spider Man's identity public right now? Oh no. Mm. Oh. Does he have a no, Facebook page? Act is live, or but... Twitter. Does he have, does a, he have a Twitter? Does does he have a Spider Man Twitter? No. Okay. Well he goes all my ideas. <laughs> I mean, it's... to be fair, if he did, it would have been a good head start. Actually, do we even have a Twitter? Like, as, as the X-Men? Like, do we have a I PR mean, person? Do you guys? I, I mean, slowly I take out my I mean, phone. we could totally do that as a thing and just manage our own Twitter. Um... Oh, actually. Jesse, I, I guess that's part that? of well-being, keeping up the image, right? Yeah. Actually, Jesse, can I roll for music? Well, we'll, we'll make a diff another mission next time, and we'll just call it like a well-being support team, and they just do the social media. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have a SoundCloud. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, can I roll for a musician to see if I grow or not? You have been doing nothing to grow as a musician at all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Now here's the question, do I maybe want to turn that uh, I rolled a 3 into an I rolled a 20 instead? I mean, we're trying to find him. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pop my hero point for the session. And uh, it's gonna end up being 27. This is the earliest hero point I've ever seen. <laughs> before the game even started, yeah, I used my hero point. Right before the last time where I did this exact same thing. <laughs> Everything would have been avoided if we would have DM'd Peter Parker. You know, if I just didn't, like, roll a three. Uh, so yeah, 27 to find Spider-Man wherever he happens to be. Alright, uh... Near, oh, far, near wherever your... Spider-Man are. Let's check. Let me pull up the Spider-Man sheet, because I had the Black Queen stuff set up, because I thought you guys were going to go out there first. I mean, that's definitely a pressing matter. We can do that. No, I no, mean, no, no, But we no, also no. want to put a cap on smaller things, too, for sure. Let me solve Spider-Man real quick. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be nice to have Spider-Man before a public like, strike to invade us. The previous rumors that have been going around is that Spider-Man has been seen zipping around New York City. He doesn't seem... They don't, he doesn't seem to be doing anything or, or saving anyone... He's just being seen. Um, this was with Cerebro, so I'm also looking at where he is right now. Yeah, I'm just going from the top. Uh, okay, continue. Spider-Man right now... You're... This is what I'm trying to guess. Would it be... Metagamingly, would it be Peter Parker or whoever's holding the Spider-Man mantle? Uh, well, I know who I'm trying to look for, I suppose, is the thing. Maybe if nobody is wearing Spider-Man outfit right now, I just Nobody is no currently no wearing the spider suit. You have no idea who it is. Yeah, because it doesn't give me advanced information, except that I know this person is a mutant. Has he still, okay. like, been fighting villains and stuff? He hasn't. No. Oh. Well, like, that was my second idea of just, like, making a giant tree in the middle of the city. Hmm. Uh, but I guess since we have, like, time while, uh, Ray goes to Wakanda, chills out, and comes back, I don't know, I'll just kind of scan in New York until I see a Spider-Man flying around. I'm just kind of curious, can anyone else understand Oz? I 
can. Yep. Oh. Okay, he just, like, sounds too jumbled up to me, nobody else. Uh, it's totally a little bit jumbled, but yeah. Mm. Let me try to Let me try to change. My laptop we, we just know, like, the internet he has to deal with is kind of bad like that. Okay. Okay, so, but you do know that he ought, that he's been seen more or less uh, encroaching on rooftops around Times Square. Hmm. Uh, if we have an idea of, like, what big times he ends up out there, we can try to get out there around that time, too. Yeah, I think uh, I can search a really huge area very quickly. Yeah, which is also what Cerebro's made for, but ultimately he has to, like, be out there as Spider-Man. We gotta find him. Ah. Uh, okay. so I guess that's it. We're gonna do a trip to New York to get today, guys. Trip to New York. Hey, Ray, come over. Come back to America staying... whenever you're ready. Who is staying behind? I mean, presumably none of us, I guess, unless we had, like, other missions they wanted to. Okay. Just want to make sure that unless anyone else was not going to New York. Yeah. So... You fly over a sky, you fly in the sky, ho oh so high, magical, wonderful, read the rainbow. And you reach New York City. It takes uh, not much time to get there. Uh, from where you're at, maybe like 15 minutes or so based on your movement speed. Uh, yep, the XJet 2.0 is pretty fast. Yep, yep, yep. And, and, Kasai, you and you can set it down on a rooftop. Kasai has vomited over a significant portion of the thing now. Uh, Dwight uh, is definitely a doctor and has a first aid kit with him. He'll get you, like, whatever he can to help with motion sickness. Man, if you think <laughs> the this thing to stop. I'm trying to fly it steady. Uh, yeah, Dwight will uh, just kind of like send it to autopilot, deal with you for a little bit, like ask you everything he can, try to help you out, get your stuff out of his bag. I just totally deleted the city block that I was using. No. Oh, uh, you should be able to control Z. Hmm. Damn it. All I have is Canada left, so we're going to use Canada for now. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're back to Canada map. We're using the Canada map, because that's what I have left. Oh, Canada, Canada. it's just two intersecting roads. <laughs> that's all well, that the entire Canada, ca country of Canada is. Alright, so, you land on the roof. It's about maybe 11, 1 o'clock, roughly around that time. Mm -hmm. And you lean over the edge, look down to the streets. It is a bustling city. Like this, like there seems to be. Before when you left, the seats, the streets are more or less bare. Not much is really happening because people are afraid of mutants and they didn't know what how to handle things. Now they seem to be actually out and about doing things. The city's returned back to normal for the most part, pending the next attack. Um, <laughs> New York kind of gets the bad end of all these attacks. New York is always the one that's attacked. Man, San Francisco, perfectly fine. Seattle, a-okay. Everywhere else, fine. People should be fleeing out of New York by this time. Yeah, heck, even Boston, like a few miles down the road right there. Perfectly fine. Never invaded by aliens. Well, the research facility is there, so there you go. Never invaded by aliens. I'm just going to move to Shanghai. Nothing bad happens there. Oh shit, Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, if you ever hear of a superhero popping up in your area, just move out of there. You know, I, I, I believe it's like when a neighborhood becomes shitty and now uh, every house loses value. 
if there's only a hero around your area, your house is going to lose all the value. Right, let me move you guys onto this map. I mean, Oz, uh, Ray is the one who's always proven that, for sure. You know... Yeah. How many buildings have we exploded ourselves? I'm... Around, around seven by now. And I also captured up, like, a full few city blocks with, um, fire-resistant plants. So... Yeah, they're not happy about that one. Alright, I'm just dropping you guys' tokens. Oh, uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Uh, well, we're here, so we just need to kind of spread up and wait for him to show up. Walk from rooftop to rooftop and take a look around. Okay, yeah. you can go rooftop to rooftop, no problem. Uh, how cool do you look while doing it? That's how a hard thing to do it. Huh? I got the reason for that is to jump. Okay. Uh, are you just gonna jump? Like, jump? This is in downtown New York. So there's probably a good, like, 200 foot clearance from each building. That's a good point. I guess the, the lazy answer is just to run very fast and up the walls and shit. Okay. So. <clears throat> You, uh, just run down to the street level, then run up the side of the wall, back to there. Yeah. Or just jump up and hit the next wall, eventually. Um... Okay, sweet. You do it so fast that nobody on the street, nor no- like, even the people on the roof barely saw it. Nice. The worst that happened is you probably ran by a newspaper article and all the newspaper was went everywhere, just for a flavor effect. <laughs> yeah, um... fuck the news. I'm going to be on the team that goes down to the ground and tries to look from him from that point. Maybe we can also do a little bit of tourism while we're waiting. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I mean, it's been so long since we've been here, Ray, right? When's uh... the last time we just, like, went to another museum or something? Uh, I don't we know. We do a tour. <laughs> by, so... by this time, I feel like New York is overrated. What happened like, to the last time you guys went to a uh, museum? Shit, went south. Like everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere else. You guys got attacked by saber tooth and a bunch of armed men. <laughs> well, guys, I've never been to New York before, so I'm gonna go to do some sightseeing. And Kasai just like puts his hand out, and a vine comes down from like the closest building, and he like yanks it and pulls himself up. Wife will just kind of follow you along. Like by the time you get like down to the ground or up on top of a building, he's already just standing there waiting for you. You see him while you're on the ground, you climb up, he's there waiting for you. I I just start casually making, like, walkways of plants between buildings as I go sightseeing. Oh, hey, this one's really good, and Dwight will just start rattling off museums to you. Dwight, we should hurry. The Wakandan streets are gonna, are gonna go bad if we don't put them in a fridge. Wait, you mean you didn't eat yours on the way here? No. I mean, I did. I mean, I got the console and the X-Jet a little messy, but I mean, I thought that was okay. Now I gotta clean that shit again. It's fine, it's fine. Do I just kind of brushes the thought off? Um, you know what? So, uh, should we do some rolls to look around and enjoy stuff? And maybe see if there's crimes we can stop if you, if you just generally just going around having a good time, uh, you can just do that easily enough without a roll. Uh, I, I'm but going yeah, to... Cool. Yeah, I mean, we are looking for Spider-Man and incidentally looking for anything else now. I, I'm also going to roll to assist for the... If Spider-Man shows up in all power roll, you will see him. <laughs> okay. I am going to try to assist with the good time. Okay. I got a 15 so, on my pop check. There's a couple check. things happening in town. It's New York. You can do literally anything that your heart desires there. There's Broadway stuff. There's, uh, like, fucking movie theaters you can go to. There's ice skating rinks. There's everything your heart can imagine. Shopping. A Stark Adventure there's... Expo. That is not at this time of year, actually. <laughs> oh, I won't. We came at the wrong time. Oh. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Um, 
you do catch glimpses throughout your day of different heroes flying over the city. Namesakes being Iron Man and Vision, both flying over overhead. Should Very. we both talk to Iron Man? Because oh. I think he he went missing like a while ago, didn't he? Uh, he came back, rem uh, remember? And that's when we also found him uh, working on the Sentinel stuff, too. Oh, okay. Um, because I never saw Iron Man before, I'm going to put my hand up and like massive plants go off of it, making a much larger hand. And like in the palm of it, it says, "Hi, Iron Man. I am also a hero." Oh no! And it's like waving. So you're actually trying to get his attention. Yes. Mike will uh, intentionally so, hide. <laughs> when you do that, a couple civilians on the street take notice. And uh, a couple civilians on the street take notice, and they actually uh, some of them started like walking away, like oh shit, it's happening again. Well, There's I mean, like here. I'm on one of the walkways on the roof because I'm just making like plant bridges from building the building. Oh, you're on the roof. Okay, I thought yeah. you were on the street level going to go do other stuff. No, and you just I said through. Throughout the day, you see this happening, so... Yeah, I was just... on the roof all day. Pretty much. I was just going to go look around all day. Because never see, okay, saw New York so, before. Who's with you? Or did you all split up? <laughs> uh, Dwight was with him for a while, but apparently he got more excited about different tourists and things at some point. I am just staying right. wherever the hell we landed the ship unless I get a call. They need me. <laughs> I don't want to start right. anything. Let me... Get Iron Man's character sheet up because I want to think <laughs> anyone's gonna talk to him. Um, there we go. Uh, this is the person you see, and this is the other person you see flying through the sky. Um, let's see. What's his senses? Uh, does he have built-in suit sensors for mutants yet? He does. Okay. Since you're actively trying to be seen, he is flying over, kind of not really paying attention, and you see his head just turn down and look at you, covered in plants with a big sign that says, I'm a hero too. With, fl with flowers blooming all over it. Yes. Nice and symbolic, too, when you think about it. <laughs> so you hear him, uh... Like, you don't really hear him do anything, but you see him stop flying and just go to hover mode with his, you know, his feet and palm repulsors. And Vision goes for, like, about ten more feet, then turns back and looks at him, like, what, what are you doing? And... He just looks, looking down at you, he just kind of motions there, vision looks down and sees you down there. And then they talk for a moment back and forth, and then uh, they both begin to fly down to you. Um, hi, I'm Kasai, I'm a big fan. Um, ooh, could you uh, uh, sign this? I hand him a rose. And... Iron just kind of sits there, and he doesn't really say much for a moment, but then you hear his speaker turn onto his suit and goes, What are you doing up here, kid? Oh, I was just sightseeing. Sightseeing? Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, do you have your registration card? I think I left that up. Um, and I just this built into a power. This is actually a reasonably decent question, actually. <laughs> Do, is that a thing person. I have? <laughs> uh, it could be actually. You were just a fry cook until long ago, right? Yeah. So. The question is, what did you do previously? Did you ever feel like you wanted one so that people wouldn't harass you when you used your powers? Yes. I... If you if you have a registration card, like which is completely possible, you can just say. 
Yes, I have one. Okay. But the government will have all of your information if you do. Yeah, ups I'm... and downs here. Yeah, I just kind of like um, fiddle for a little bit, pull it out. The picture is just me with a ridiculously large smile. Okay, so you pull out your mutant registration ID. It shows your power set. Your it's pretty much a driver's license, except it also expands to uh, your power set, your level of authorization clearance, which you currently have civilian level clearance, which gives you almost nothing. Um, you can use your powers in public, but if uh, you use them to commit a crime, no matter how minor the crime is, it'll be counted as a grand felony. Okay. So, like, if you were to, like, if you use your plants to, let's say, I don't know, uh, still be still a candy a from like, If you if you use your plants to grow a tree a tree trunk that breaks a window, that counts as vandalism. But because you did it, it's a felony, and you go straight to prison for a long time. Okay. That's pretty much what happens. Uh, but you didn't do anything, like, felonious with it. You just basically did that. Yeah. And he says, Wait a minute. I, I know you. I thought I recognized you. Yeah, didn't you used to go to the big belly burger down the road? Well, not down the road, in like another city, actually. Wow, this place is small. And big. No, no, something, uh... You were in Vancouver. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you want to explain what happened up there? Um... There were some demons? <laughs> and they look back to back and forth to each other and then they turn back to look at you. Yeah. There were some demons. Vision speaks up saying, Demons, what do you mean, demons? Well, it was just like this like a lot of these little like fire things that just like they seemed like they were alive, man, and um by the way he reeks a pot. Um, <laughs> you know, in case they're gonna call the DEA on <laughs> And he's just like, I Iron mean, Man just kind of takes a step towards you, not a threatening step, but like a if you know something, you need to tell us everything. Well, I mean, like, I wasn't super paying attention, but like, there was this like lady that like did some fire stuff and uh. What happened to the rest of your friends? Oh, they're just out there somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I've just kind of been walking around all day. I just kind of oh. like look back at the bridges and Are bridges of plants. I think so. They could have left without me. And then you hear... You hear him say... Oh yes, Jarvis, can you give me a sweep of the entire city from satellite view? Looking for X-Men. Oh, why are you looking for him? Oh yeah, there's that whole terrorist thing. I, I just can... want to ask him a few questions. Yeah. Nothing, nothing important. Okay. So like, does your suit have a cup holder? I've always wondered that. And he just kind of looked at you very strangely for a second, and he starts like saying something like saying something but his speaker his loudspeaker is turned off so you just hear him kind of inside of his suit like he's talking to his AI and then you, you see his head go from like feet level all the way up to midsection to chest to head like he scans you and uh, he goes no I haven't bothered to put something like that in yet but <clears throat> Your friends, where are they? You know where they are, of course. You have a communicator on your ear. Huh? Oh, yeah. I kind of like press my ear. Hey, where are you guys at? Oh, hey, didn't I say that 
texted, you know, it wasn't, is something happening? Oh yeah, just like, um, I met Tony Stoke, he's like, he doesn't have a cup holder on his suit, I really thought he would. Yeah, he did it when I used one of his suits before, but I mean, anyway, um, why did you flagged him down or something? I mean, yeah, I never. What's going on? Is I never met like you? an actual superhero before. I mean, like he is cool, but like, no, nah, no, nah, he's he's doing chill. Like, I I go to like give him a fist bump right. if he accepts I, it. I crashed. I crashed. My bad. Oh. Oh. So what? Did you did you guys tell him what you're at? Uh no, we're basically rambling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Dwight is all like, do you need a rescue? And that's just going on broadcast to everyone right now. Yeah, so as, soon, as soon as I hear, like, Tony Stark, I'm starting to think, bolt into Wakanda. Like, hmm, maybe that's in my best interest right now. But yeah, I... I'm not talking with Tony Stark. I was pretty sure that, like, you know, he would have a cup holder on his suit, but, like, he says he doesn't, but I just kind of, like, look up the suit a little bit. I'm pretty sure he does somewhere. No, it doesn't, but I think if you, like, did, like, the middle finger and the left pinky finger together, you could get, like, a jet of energizing, like, a sports drink or something. Oh, wait, hold on. I was told that if I do this, and then I That's do the... that. <laughs> I need to interrupt it. Aren't his hands cut off? Uh, what? Aren't his hands cup holders? I just look at him wide-eyed and at his hands. Your hands are cup holders. Damn. I mean, any, anyone's hands are cup holders. Cup holders. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Ray, uh, Dwight is also texting Gray and kind of going, I think this is a good idea at all. <laughs> By this time when you text me, I'm already in Wakanda. Like, uh, nah, it's all good, man. Dude, I if you're moving that fast, out. Signal can't even reach your phone fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. I thought you were like, actually here with us in New York looking for Spider-Man too. I didn't know you whipped off to Wakanda again. Um, you yeah. spend more time in Wakanda than you do with the X-Men. At this point, you guys keep finding like this way to get into trouble. I'm just like, you know, maybe I haven't seen my aunt in a while. Maybe I'll go back for a bit. Hmm. 